Hello, my name is Dan Luby and I'm an Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. And in this Quick Tips video today, I want to talk a little bit about fading in and out components. So a lot of the time in animations in, in SOLIDWORKS Composer, we want to show components and as they get exploded or they translate or rotate or move away from our model as they're being disassembled, we want to show them kind of disappear. And we want that to show in the actual animation. So in order to do something like that, I've turned off auto keys just so we can really show how these keys are created. And I'm going to move my time bar to about one, one second. I'm going to highlight both the cabin of this helicopter as well as this little LED light here. And I'm going to translate these two out uh, to about, uh, we'll say, uh, just a little bit. I'm going to start by creating a location key for where it is currently so it stays in place from 0 to 1 second. Uh, and then as this thing rotates, or excuse me, as this thing translates out, we'll bring it out to about here. I'm going to drop that. Actually, I'm going to have to go back here because I didn't set my time bar to 2 seconds. So I'll set my time bar to 2 seconds. I bring this out. I've translated it. And go ahead and set a location key. And now we're showing basically those two components are in place between 0 and 1 second. And at 1 second, it starts to translate out. So, during my typical disassembly process, I'd want these two components to disappear. So I can turn off my translation tool. I might zoom in a little bit here. And maybe I want it to start disappearing at 1 and a half seconds. And I want it to be completely gone at 2, two seconds. So, with these components selected, I'm going to use the property manager over here that has a bunch of different things we can actually configure in animation. And I'm going to highlight the opacity key. And notice, right when I highlight the opacity property, uh, my little red key, my set key button, becomes a little uh, kind of piece of paper. And this is just representing that I'm now able to capture this property at this time, time interval. So, at one and a half seconds, I want to capture that the opacity is 100% opaque at 255, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and record that. And now if I'd like, I can move this up to about two seconds. Uh, maybe we'll go a little farther so we can see this change actually happen. Uh, so I'm going to go at two and a half seconds. I want these two components to be invisible. So I'll bring that opacity down to zero, and then I will record that property change at two and a half seconds. So with those components, Unselected, I'll go back to the beginning and hit play. And we see the component come out. It translates from 1 to 2 seconds. And the opacity changes from 100% to 0% between 1.5 and, and 2.5 and seconds. So that was kind of a manual way of changing the opacity. But we actually have little shortcuts in SOLIDWORKS Composer. I can actually delete these two keys here. Those were my property keys. My component still moves out between 1 and 2 seconds. But now I can add something called an effect to basically automate the process I just did manually. So I'm going to move this to about here for the time being. And so I'm a little bit between 1 and a half seconds and 2 seconds. I can then come to the effects here uh, with these components highlighted. I have the option to fade out. So I can do this fade in or fade out. If I do fade out, you'll notice it creates a key where it's 100% gone, as well as a key before that, uh, keeping it from changing opacity before that one and a half second mark. So if you basically come back here now from one to two seconds, we're still translating, but I've also now added a new animation that will change the opacity from one and a half to about here. Our component's completely gone. And there is, you know, translation still happening between here, but it's while well, the component's invisible. So if I wanted to, I could change this. I could move these two components out here. Um, feel free to manipulate your keys any way you want. You can just click and drag them. So it moves out. Opacity is then gone. So during that time frame, uh, if I wanted to, maybe I went through and I added some other steps on how to disassemble. At any time... I could take all of these components and I could basically right click, oh, excuse me, I'll take all of my components and I'll hold down the control key, copy these over here, 
And then while they're still highlighted, I'm going to right click and invert the time selection. And in doing this, if we watch our animation now, it'll just revert exactly what we did during the disassembly process. So this was a quick tips video from Dan Luby at Go Engineer, just kind of showing how Solderworks Composer animation doesn't have to be hard. Uh, the keyframe based animation is probably one of the better ways to go. And as long as you understand what you're selecting while you're, you know, creating these keys, it should be pretty easy to create. Thanks for your time today and take care.